All right, hey everyone. So I decided to make a uh, beginner's hacking video just off the cuff. Um, why not, right? So I'm not really gonna go into uh, the morality of hacking or any of that stuff, uh, at least not in this video. I'll just show you guys um, the basics of how to just start wetting your feet into hacking and uh, what it takes, I guess. Sort of the persistence that's necessary and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and start by opening up one of my YouTube videos. Uh, shameless plug, I guess, but actually I'm doing this because I have permission to mess with these videos since I'm the one who's uploading them and stuff like that. So the way we could start off is by using development tools which are provided in these web browsers. And um, I'm using Google Chrome in this example, but you can use Firefox, Internet Explorer. They have, they have these inspection tools. So I've always wanted to have like a million views because who doesn't, right? So if I go ahead and right click this and click inspect on this little element that I see here that has my view count, I can actually do something really cool and manipulate that. So it says that I actually do have one million views. If I go ahead and do this, type that in and push enter, we're actually manipulating the HTML on this page. So when I open up this inspector right here at the top of it, you see these um, see these tags. Well, this is all HTML, and if you don't know how to read HTML, then hey, beginner's guide to web development video one is right here. But let's say that I didn't really like this name, like Kai. You were a little lazy when you when you were naming this video. Maybe you could give it something better. Uh, I'll ask you like something better, like what? Well, you tell me. How about um, I don't know. Uh, I love Care Bears. That sounds like a good video title, right? Well, just like that, now my video name is I Love Care Bears. That's cool. But, you know what? If I refresh the page, huh, none of the stuff that I just typed in is staying there. Well, that's because this inspection tool right here is just a really easy way for developers to manipulate some of the HTML or the CSS within their code. Um, so that they don't necessarily have to go into their uh, into their program and edit it that way. They can just do it straight here in the browser, see how these values look, and if they like it, then they can actually just go into the code and uh, manipulate it that way. So that's cool, but it's not really hacking, right? So you guys want to learn how to start stealing people's information and whatnot because we're malicious, I guess. I don't know. Um, let me just state that the reason that I... I'm hacking is so that I can learn how to protect my systems and um, be a more valuable employee in the future. But anyways, so let's say we have a password here and I really want to get into it. Uh, get into this person's account or figure out what the password is. Well, oftentimes people will leave their passwords on their computer so that they can do an automatic login. Uh, I don't do that. I think it's a little foolish. But what we can actually start to do with this is, for instance, if I go onto my uh, sister's computer or something and she has a password to her Facebook just left there in all stars and I don't know what it is, but I can log in. All right, that's not, that's not really helpful. I need to know what this is because oftentimes people don't, uh, they recycle the same, you know, two or three passwords. So if I can figure out this password, chances are I can use it for other um, websites or any other uh authentication pages where a person might need to log in. So again, I'll do this inspect right here. And if we look at the uh, IDs right here, it's trying to tell me that the, or excuse me, the tags, I see that this is an input tag and the type is password. While I don't really want this to be a password, I wanna see what's in there. So I can actually go ahead and see what I typed in there if I just change password to text. And just like that, it's pretty, uh, pretty scary and pretty incredible how easy that was. Now I can see the data that's there. You know, the same way is <clears throat> if I was to sign in, if I were to sign in with a different account, I'll add account. It's asking me to enter my email, but let's say I have people around me and I don't necessarily want them to know my email or anything. I want to be super secretive. What I can do is just the opposite. Instead of having the placeholder be, or excuse me, the type be email right here, I could just change this to password. And so if I go ahead and actually enter anything in the email field, it'll change uh, its value from plain text being shown to just a password type text being shown. So just like that really quickly, um, 
there's the basics of some sort of hacking on a web browser. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll be uploading some more uh, tutorials in the future on how to go more in depth into hacking using an operating system known as Kali Linux. Now this is a lot more complicated and it will require uh, more dedication and more knowledge of not only uh, the command line terminal but also different functions within a computer and networking. So um, be sure to like and subscribe and be looking for those in the future guys.